Welcome Cancers. I'm back y'all with another video. This is going to be for the remainder of February. All right, for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, okay? So if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart in those areas, you can utilize this video. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it does happen to resonate, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share with your family and your friends. You never know who may need to hear this. All right, so... Also, guys, if you're looking to book a personal reading, um, all that information is in the Dropbox below. As well, guys, I have some new products that um, that have just came out on the website. So be sure to check out the website as well, too. Okay? All that information is in the Dropbox below. All right. Thank you all for your, uh, for your donations. Y'all have been coming through. I've been seeing y'all. I've been seeing y'all. I've been seeing nothing goes unnoticed here on this channel, okay? All right, so let's talk, guys. Let's talk Cancer. So let's see what messages we got. What messages we have for the Cancer for the remainder of February. All right, we're going to stop it right here. All right, at the bottom, we got the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Hmm. The Four of Pentacles and the Strength card. So, what I'm picking up, what I'm picking up is there may be um, some conflict here, okay? Maybe there's talks about money or there is just like, maybe you feel like someone is like keeping, holding back something, you know, like, let's see. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Okay. We got the lovers. We got the ten of pentacles. The six of swords. The four of cups. Okay. Eight of wands. And the two of wands. King of pentacles. Ten of cups. Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. All right, so it looks like you're not really interested in um, either there's a person that you're not interested in a situation, but I'm getting with the Lovers card here. It could be a Gemini. I got Gemini's energy here. I also have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn here as well too. But I'm getting that um, you're not interested or you're, I'm just getting like you're not, you're, you're not there with somebody, a relationship, a dynamic. You're just not there anymore. You're possibly considering moving on or you're drifting away from a situation. Why is the four of cups here? I mean, how the four of cups is here. Yeah, you don't want this connection. Like, you're not feeling this connection. If something here about this connection has fallen apart, okay? Um, I don't know why. My refrigerator hasn't done that in so long, but sometimes I don't know why it does that. And it's really bugging right now because it hasn't done that in so long. Like, I thought they actually came and fixed that. But we got the two of cups here. And the Four of Cups. This is definitely saying, like, maybe you're bored in this connection. Um, you're not feeling it. Yeah, see the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, like, King of Swords, Queen of Cups. This is your energy. Or you're dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio yourself. Um, but with the King of Swords here, you could be cutting this person off, okay? You could be being real... Uh, tough towards this person, showing them tough love. Why is the lovers here? Some of y'all are dealing with the Gemini. Why is the lovers here? The chariot. You guys' is energy. I'm getting forward movement, though. I'm getting forward movement. Why is the chariot here? The king of wands. And the queen of wands is here under the deck.
I'm getting like you're ready to take action. You're ready to take action. You're, you're moving. You're moving. Okay, it's like you're releasing yourself. We got the will of fortune. It's like this is your chance to to leave. Why is the six of swords here? The knight of cups. Okay, so there's an offer. There's an offer here on the table that I feel like you may be considering. You're thinking about. Could be involving a Capricorn. Um, you feel like somebody's taking advantage of you. Why is, what's the Knight of Cups? The Queen of Wands want to jump out. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Hierophant. Be dealing with the tours. Some of you may be asking someone, What should you do about this connection? Why is the Ten of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, you have multiple streams of income. I'm seeing multiple streams of income. Maybe this situation involves money or family, but I'm getting. Um, some of you have multiple jobs, like you're juggling two jobs, or there is like multiple streams of income. I feel like you're trying to, some of you are repeating something, a cycle again, like you're trying it over again. Um, maybe you felt like you didn't do something right the first time, so you're going back, um, you're retracing your steps, and then you're kind of like going back and reevaluating things. Um... Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. But I feel like some of you guys have been kind of like on a hiatus. You kind of been distancing yourself. Possibly, you know, saying saying less. Yeah, we got the Death card here. Okay, so I'm getting that there's just some type of changes. I'm getting there's some type of changes, like you're making changes, okay, yeah, because something here didn't work. Some of you may have quit a job as well. I'm getting that as well, too. Um, some of you are actively looking for another job. Maybe there's something about this uh, job that you didn't like. You're waiting on a different offer, but I'm getting like something didn't work in the past, okay, and I feel like you're kind of like being quiet about it. So now you're coming up with this new plan with the two of wands here for future energy. You have this new plan, this new idea. Yeah, something new that you're working on. So now you're working on something new, something that you're hoping that is going to bring you stability. Okay. I do see your focus is the coin, though. Your goals, you're focused on a goal. You got a goal in mind. Yeah, you're chasing your you're chasing the money right now. You're on a money chase. Like the thing about with the money chase is, I want you guys to learn how to manifest. You don't have to chase. You don't have to chase it. You can attract it to you. Okay, because I feel like some of you may feel a little left out in the cold, or may have been dealing with some financial issues in the past. You're trying to catch back up. You're trying to get caught back up. I see that. I see you. Yeah. See, some of you, your goals are getting back stable, getting things back in order, getting things back stable. I feel like you've been patient long enough, and you're ready to get this train rolling. All right. So now here with the Ten of Cups here, we got the High Priestess. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. Yeah, see... You got a goal in mind, and other people around you, I feel like, are happy for you. They know that you're a go-getter. They know that you that what you're capable of, okay? Your goal is definitely this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? So, you're, 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 I feel like you're focused. 
you're ready to move. Like, I don't know if you feel like something or someone is holding you back, but I do see a lot of progress being made. Okay, I see progress being made. There we go, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is your hopes and fears. So your goals is to manifest more money. Okay, you're trying to manifest more money. You're doing it till you're tired. Okay, you're doing it till you can't even go no more. Now, as the outcome, we got the magician. So it looks like you're manifesting. Some of y'all are using y'all money magnet oils. Yes, you can get that from the website. Those are handmade by the Empress herself. All right. Some of y'all are manifesting. Y'all are definitely manifesting here. You're using intention candles. You're wearing your money magnet oil. You're carrying your crystals, your pyrite crystals. Like you're manifesting. You're attracting that. Look at this. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But you're trying to find balance. You're trying to find balance, okay? You are trying to find balance in this situation. Mm-hmm. I see you're also trying to avoid this worrisome energy. Like, you ain't trying to go back in this energy no more. That's it. You're manifesting balance into your life. Queen of Wands, you're ready to take action. You're ready to take action. You're taking action. Yeah, see, this, I feel like this is the energy that you have been in. You've been in this stuck energy. You've been stuck. You've been holding back, um, not really doing too much, but now you're ready to take, you're ready to take a leap of faith. You've been being real patient. You've been sitting back. You may have been planting seeds, and now it's your time for your harvest, okay? Yeah, now it's time for your harvest. So if this message resonated for you, then, oh wow, now the thing stops. <laughs> if this message resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, okay? Share with your family and your friends, leave me a comment. Go ahead, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, that information is in the drop box below, as well as if you're interested in um, any intention oils, as well as I sell body butters, as well as a lot of different things here on the website. You guys can check out all of that information is in the drop box below, okay? Until next time, I'll chat with you later.